Have you ever walked around the personal care section of a store and looked at the ingredients in the products you put on your skin and on your body every day? It's actually kind of scary. And for the last year, but specifically the last few months, I've been looking at and researching the ingredients in these products and exactly what they do to your body. And it's bad, my friends. If you think the ingredients in food is bad, personal care is even worse. We're talking ingredients that are derived from petroleum, from tar, and they're linked to hormone disruption, endocrine disruption. You don't want that on your body. So let's walk around and show you when it comes to lotions, deodorant, shampoo, body wash, what are the bad ingredients in there? Exactly why they're bad, but more importantly, how to swap them out with a better for you, Bobby approved non-toxic products. Uh, before we do that, I do want you to also check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below. They're a big supporter of the channel, but they also have a lot of the clean non-toxic products I'm gonna talk about for way cheaper than most stores. Uh, on, or on average, you save about $32 per order when using Thrive Market, and when you click my link down below you get 30 percent off your first order and a free gift and it's 30 days risk-free and i'll put all of my favorite non-toxic products for the whole video i'm going to talk about in the description box check them out on thrive market you'll get a great deal so less talking more shopping let's walk around cbs walking down the shampoo and conditioner aisle here i don't see any that are bobby approved but i do see a lot of the most popular brands that people use on a daily basis and here's a prime example of one this is Garnier Sleek and Shine. And it's hard to see the ingredients, but right up top, see what it says right there? SLS. Now there's other issues here, but you're gonna find something called sodium lauryl sulfate in almost all shampoos. And that's a problem because that's a scrubbing agent. Actually, it's the same scrubbing agent they put in toothpaste that you wanna avoid too. But this is such a good scrubbing agent, meaning a harsh one, that it not only cleanses your hair, which by the way, I just got a haircut this morning, huh? Not too shabby. Um, it not only cleanses your hair, but it strips your hair and your scalp of a lot of the natural oils and moisture in there it can make your hair brittle and it's such a harsh scrubbing agent it can make your um, scalp irritated and I have a sensitive scalp so anytime you see SLS or SLES in a shampoo too abrasive put it back so we'll put the Garnier back and then this is something I think I used to use back in the day this argon oil stuff here it looks like it's a premium shampoo and it's really hard to see the ingredients it doesn't have the SLS, but it has a ton of other things in here. See in the bottom, artificial colors are to be avoided. I'll tell you why a little bit later, but see all these pegs here? Pegs have all these different numbers after them. Pegs are almost always based out of petroleum. Petroleum is toxic. You don't want that on your skin. So this is a no, but maybe the most egregious offender is something I used to use back in the day for dandruff and dry scalp, head and shoulders classic. And you know, all these A-list actors, I remember Sofia Vergara was waving her hair in these commercials for head and shoulders. They ain't using it, I promise you. So you look at the ingredients on the back here, and once again, blue one artificial color is how they get that. I'll talk about that in uh, another aisle. You wanna avoid that. But sometimes with these chemicals, you can't necessarily um, pronounce them. It doesn't mean they're bad, but these two right here, I can't quite pronounce them. I don't want to butcher them, but these are horrible, horrible preservatives. One of them is known as a neurotoxin, which you'll learn a lot of the ingredients here are endocrine disruptors, hormone disruptors, or neurotoxin. And the other one is a very harsh preservative that can be a major skin irritant. So in this case, I would highly recommend not using that because the ingredients are bad. And you'll notice in this video that a lot of the ingredients are neurotoxins or endocrine disruptors. They affect the hormones, especially for the ladies, and they are directly linked to fertility issues. Well, hmm, I wonder why we have such an issue with infertility in this country. So for, uh, and worldwide, to be honest. So for shampoo and conditioner, I don't see the ones here. My favorite one that I use at home is a cure. It's readily available. It's not that expensive. And actually, I just looked on Thrive Market. They have it on sale right now for a great price. And of course, when you click my link down below, you get 30% off your first order and the free gift. So a cure shampoo and conditioner is great. When I do have dry scalp, I don't reach for the uh, Sophia Vergara stuff anymore. I use something called Avalon Organics. It's not perfect, but it's very clean compared to this. But I would stay away from these regular ones here because of the ingredients. They're just not good for you and for your scalp.
The dirtiest secret in personal care products is actually something called fragrances. And if I pick up a oh, secret, there we go. Secret pH balance for a woman, but strong enough for a man. If I pick up almost anything in the personal care aisle, I don't care what it is, you're almost always going to see the word fragrance. Fragrance or, or perfume. If you see those two words, fragrance or perfume, it's the natural flavors version of the cosmetics world. The problem is it's even worse. Like natural flavors, it's not regulated, but they can use up to 3,000 ingredients, including chemicals, preservatives, anything to make the perfume or fragrance, and they won't tell you. It's proprietary. And a lot of those ingredients are incredibly irritating to your skin. Avoid fragrance or perfume. This also, as a deodorant, it's just something you don't want to put on your skin because it has the pegs, the petroleum-based preservatives. So I would put that back there. And I wouldn't use any anti-perspirant um, or anything like that that has a spray on there. Because what's the first ingredient here? <laughs> Holy crud. Butane. Butane alcohol to propel it out of the can. But on your pits, a sensitive part of your body, hex to the no. Even something that people think is premium, like this here, it looks great, right? If you see the active ingredient here, propylene glycol, like you see these ingredients, you don't even know what they mean, but once you learn what propylene glycol is, that's the chemical or the ingredient that makes this smooth and silky when, on your, when you put it on your pits. The problem is it's a known hormone disruptor and skin irritant when you see it in as little as 2% in the ingredients. Well. When it's the first ingredient here, that means it's probably 50% or more. Under your pants, known as a skin irritant or hormone disruptor, no, no, no. Luckily, there's really good options. Uh, I think of uh, Schmitz is one, Loom is one. I'll put a full list of the Bobby approved ones down below. I don't really see one here, but luckily there's a, oh, here we go, here's one. This guy, Crystal. Crystal, the regular one, is Bobby approved. You're not gonna see any of those nasty ingredients here, but there's a ton of really good ones. I'll put a full list down below. Stay away from the traditional ones. It might be pH balance for men and women, but you don't want it. Be you, be you. I finally see some Bobby approved personal care products. Boom, Bulldog body wash. Boom, Castile soap is good. But anytime you look at the majority of body washes here. What's that comedian uh, who says body wash, gotta wash the body. I forgot who it is, but anytime you see a colored one like this, they ain't getting that color from lavender. Spoiler alert. They're getting it from artificial colors like blue number one. Why is that a problem? Artificial colors are almost always derived from tar and petroleum. Tar and petroleum based colors on your skin in your body when you're eating food products with that? Blah, no, no, no. So put that back. But even when you get stuff that doesn't have the color, like dial here, you see the ingredients. They have the pegs, but they also have the sodium lauryl sulfate, the scrubbing agent. That harsh scrubbing agent on your body, no. Do you see how this stuff adds up so quickly? Like I said, you think food bad products are bad when you're eating them? Cosmetics are worse. All of these irritants, endocrine disruptors, and stuff like that on your skin, no, no, no. But on the flip side, you have something like this. Bulldog, I actually use their shaving cream. Look at this. You don't see any of the harsh scrubbing agents. You don't see any pegs, but you do see the word fragrance there. Fragrance with a star. Wait a second, Bobby. You just said fragrances are bad. They're made up of 3,000 mystery ingredients, a lot of chemicals, irritants. They ain't got to tell you what they did. Put in there, I did say that, right? But the star means go to their website. What is their fragrance made of? Natural essential oils, real essential oils. The premium products will have fragrances, but they're always made with essential oils, no BS mystery ingredients. So this is great. This is great too, just regular Castile soap. This is just 100% all natural. You see the ingredients here. Look at this. 
This is plant-based. This is great. Um, Dr. Bronner's also makes a Castile soap. You can never go wrong with Castile soap. Um, I like Dr. Bronner's bar soap. By the way, are you on team bar soap or team um, body wash? I'm bar soap kind of guy. This stuff gets wasted. It goes down your body. Dr. Bronner's bar soap is great. And uh, Alafia. Alafia makes a good body wash too. But at the store, here, boom, Bulldog and any kind of Castile soap is the way to go. Avoid the other stuff. You don't want that on your body wash. What's that guy's name? Go. Gaff Gaffigan. Jim Gaffigan. Yeah. I see a lot of lotions that people use on a daily basis and scan with the Bobby Approved app. And now that cold and flu season is around upon us and the weather's getting colder, you're going to use more of stuff like this. Lotion from this company. And these contain public enemy Number one, a really bad ingredient. Ooh, the thunder outside, dramatic. Methyl, paraben, paraben in that one. And I used to use Cetaphil as a face wash. Actually, the face wash isn't that bad. I don't use it anymore. But the lotion is to be avoided because not one paraben, methyl paraben, but two parabens, propyl paraben, even worse than the other one. Parabens are one of the worst ingredients you can find in personal care products. They're in there as a preservative. Their main job is to prevent bacteria growth in the lotions and potions and goos, but they are rated really bad because they are high as an endocrine disruptor and they mimic estrogen in the body. And fun fact, they find more parabens in the bodies and bloodstreams of uh, women because they put more parabens in the makeup and the potions and goos that women use all over their body and men don't use it quite as much. Um, by the way, if you want to learn more about these ingredients, you can search online, but EWG has a great part of their website called Skin Deep, and you can actually search by product or, uh, or by ingredient and learn what they mean. It's very helpful because these ingredients are very foreign to many people, but parabens are to be avoided at all costs, and this has two of them, and this has one. You don't want those endocrine disruptors, and even something like people think is premium, like this here, they're not getting green in there with the green tea. If you look at the long, long list here, right? There's pegs and everything in here that are to be avoided, but it's artificial coloring. Once again, derived from tar and petroleum usually. So I don't see a lotion here, but the one that I use is from Waleda. Waleda makes a great skin lotion. I get it on Thrive Market also, so use my link for that. But I'll put a list, a list of all the non-toxic Bobby approved lotions and potions and goos that don't have the artificial coloring and the parabens in the description box down below, along with all the other stuff we talked about today. All right, my friends, that is it for just some of the aisles here in the personal care section. Uh, but it's bad news overall. You do really don't want these products going on your skin multiple times a day when they have these hormone disrupting, terrible ingredients. Uh, I'll do more of these in the future because there's other aisles too. But grab some of the good ones. I'll put a full list down below. Take advantage of the Thrive Market offer. Click my link, 30% off your first order and a free gift. Uh, but that is it from the lotions, potions, and goos. I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking mad love and peace later